In this lesson, I wanna show you a must see and must know capo trick. If you're a beginner guitar player, an intermediate guitar player, an advanced guitar player, it's a really cool and fun trick, but it's also very practical and it adds a lot of sound to your guitar playing. Now, I will say this will only work when you're using chords in the key of D. So we've got our D, our A, our B minor, G chord, kind of those four main chords. And when we have the capo on the second fret. So when we put the capo on the second fret and we play chords in the key of D, these chords here, that turns the overall guitar into the key of E. So that may mean absolutely nothing to you. You may be completely confused and not have any idea what I'm talking about. That's totally fine. I've done a bunch of lessons um, on using the capo before, what a capo is, how using a capo with different chord families changes the overall key of a song, depending on where you put it on the, um, the fretboard here. So I'll link some of those lessons I've done um, in the description. And I've also got um, a capo chart on my website that shows you um, a breakdown of, of exactly what key you're going to be in. Uh, depending on where you put the capo and what type of chords you're playing. But if you're already familiar with how that works, how using a capo with different chord families, chords in the key of D, chords in the key of G, chords in the key of C, how that all works, then this might make a little bit more sense to you. But even if it doesn't, hang tight, hang in there and keep watching this, even if you're a beginner and just doesn't completely make sense because you're still gonna learn um, a lot and eventually this will just click for you. Okay, so we know that if we put the capo on the second fret here and we play chords in the key of D, that turns the guitar into the key of E. Sounds normal, sounds good, sounds fine, nothing wrong with it, but if you wanted to give it a more full feel and a more full sound, this is where we, we do the little capo trick or the capo technique of taking it off, flipping it upside down. So you're gonna still use you know this part of the capo to cover the strings. You're gonna flip it upside down, you're gonna keep it on the second fret, but you're only going to cover the bottom five strings. We're gonna keep this low E string open and untouched. So you've got the capo on the bottom five strings here and this low E string completely open, untouched. So now when we're playing the D chord, instead of just playing our typical D chord with these bottom four strings, again, that sounds fine, no big deal, everything's okay with playing it this way, but it does limit you to those bottom four strings. So now this low, this, this top string, the low E string, is the same as this third string from the bottom, you know, the D string, and they're both E. So now, instead of just playing the bottom four strings, you can play the full, all six strings. And you can hear, it kind of sound, sounds much bigger, it sounds much more full, especially when you give it that kind of big, kind of rake down strum. So what's nice about this is you probably heard of drop D tuning. So drop D tuning is where you just, you don't have a capo on, you um, drop the low E string into uh, the uh, into a D note, and then you can, it, it sounds exactly like this, it sounds more full, it sounds bigger, but you have to play different chord shapes. With this, when you're playing chords in the key of D, for the other chords, for this A chord, you just play the normal shape. For the B minor, you just play the normal shape. For the G chord, you just play the normal G. You don't have to change how you're playing or how you're strumming the other chords. So the main difference, you're just strumming this full D chord. And then obviously when we strum the A chord, we're not strumming that bass note anyways. We're only strumming the bottom five strings. Same thing with the B minor chord. And then for the G, the G chord, you just play that regular G. 
So this is really good if you're just playing an acoustic set by yourself, or maybe it's just you and a friend and you've got two acoustic guitars, or maybe it's just a stripped down acoustic worship set or just a stripped, uh, a stripped down set with just keys and um, uh, acoustic, and, and that might be it. So this is really practical and really good when you have that type of a setup because it, it allows you to just make that sound a little bit more full. And with this D chord, you can either strum it or you can pick it. So let me just show you a couple of songs that I use this capo trick for and the way I play it. Oh my words for sure I've got nothing new How could I express Oh my gratitude so I throw up my hands, I praise you again and again. Cause all that I have is a hallelujah, hallelujah. And I know it's not much, but I've nothing else fit for a king. Except for a heart singing hallelujah, hallelujah. And oh, the earth will shout your praise, our hearts will cry, these bones will sing praise. So as you can tell, even on that last song, just the last bridge of Great Are You Lord, it just adds a lot more bass, a lot more fullness of sound, as opposed to just, you know, if we played this normally and we played the capo as we normally would, we would only, we would be limited to these bottom four strings. And it sounds fine. And oh, the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. Great are you, Lord. But when you add in that bass note and you add in just that full D chord with this capo trick, it just adds a lot more depth and a lot more fullness to what you're playing. So again, this is a fun little trick you can you can use in a worship set with your full band. You can use it in a, a stripped acoustic set. You can just play around with it yourself at home, just playing those different chords um, and using this capo trick. So I hope that helped you out. If, if you have questions, definitely leave a comment down below um, and let me know what you're struggling with or what you need help with. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.